Hey. So it's almost that time of the year again, the time where we all want to die. It's back to school season. Personally, I'm not looking forward to this at all, but you know what? It's just one of those things in life. You just gotta suck it up and deal with it, unfortunately. So in other words, that's just the universe giving us the, the big, big middle finger. finger. So I thought to bring in the new school season, I would show you guys what's in my backpack. My backpack and I have been on quite the journey. We go to every single class together and I've been with it since grade three. So we're going on nine years strong. <sighs> Let me get the specimen. <coughs> This is my backpack. It's been through the ringer, I would say. There are stains on it that no matter how hard I try, they will not come out. I've named my backpack Brandon Smith. Now, I chose to call it Brandon Smith because that means the initials are BS. Also, in case you're interested, there's this mysterious red stain. I don't know if it's ketchup, red paint, or period blood. The first thing you notice when you open up my backpack is that I've lined the inside with aluminum foil. And I do this because I don't want the CIA to be looking into my personal Personal property. There is a lot of questionable stuff in there and I don't want everyone to be looking at it. So the next thing you'll see in my backpack is my pencil case. When you open up my pencil case, there is a lot of garbage in here and most of the stuff I don't need. Most of it, if not all of it, I found. I didn't buy any of this stuff. I steal it from my classmates, but this has a story behind it, you know? Like, I could go up and be like, this one, I stole from Jane in third period. This one, I stole from my gym teacher's back pocket. And this one, I found in the garbage can. Ugh. So I don't know about you, but I think I've been saving a couple thousand trees, if not millions. Next, we have my binders. So me, I'm always prepared, you know? I'm a good student. I'm a suck up. I have four dumb thick binders. The camera just shook and it almost fell down. Anyways, I'm not gonna lie, carrying around these four binders is quite the hassle. They're not full of paper at the moment, but when they are, oh, Jesus have mercy. My back hurts all the time. This semester, I'll be taking bio, French, functions, and Yeah, we won't talk about that one. Anyways, then we get into the technology. I have not one, not two, but three laptops. Let me explain why. This one, I use it to store my selfies. I take thousands and thousands of selfies per day and each one of them better than the last one. So I need a lot of RAM storage to store them. So I have this computer just for that. This one, on the other hand, I use it for leaving hate comments on Rate My Professor. I have a lot of beef with pretty much every single teacher I have. Um. No one likes me. And finally, the last one. This one I use for subtweeting my classmates. You might be wondering, Joanna, you have three computers and none of them are for homework. Well, subtweeting is my homework, sister. <laughs> Um, so some of you may not know this, but I live in Canada. So what does that mean? So one moment, the sun might be perfectly out, no clouds whatsoever, the birds are chirping, beautiful dandelions everywhere, and then the other moment, it could all just change like that, you know? Like it could just be blizzarding. So what do I have to carry around every single day? My parka and some winter boots. You know, this is just part of being a Canadian. Oh, and of course, when you're Canadian, you can't forget the maple syrup. This is just a classic. We chug this by the liter here in Canada. I regret that. Next, we get to my lunchbox. Now, my family is very concerned with nutrition and our meals are always planned out very precisely. So, my meals every day are pretty much the same. For the carbs, I carry around a loaf of bread. Then, for protein, I mean, it's just a classic, you know? Like, who would want to spend money on actual meat? I will literally chug spoonfuls of this in every single class. Oh, I am disgusted. <coughs> no, I mean, yes. I look like I just did cocaine. Sorry, I think I had a protein powder mustache. Finally, the fruit. We like to keep it simple. <coughs> I'm not gonna lie, this gets a bit messy because watermelon is 90% water. So my backpack is often leaking for no apparent reason and um, no one understands, but this is why. How could I forget the makeup bag? Now, I'm 
a girl, I wear makeup literally every single day and I have to be looking good 24 seven. So my makeup bag is pretty monstrous. You may be wondering how this fits in here. Oh, let me tell you, it is quite the jigsaw puzzle. In here, I have quite a couple things. My flat iron, cause you know, we can't have any of those wispies. Jojo Siwa would not be proud. Wanna blow dry your hair? Oh, I've got you covered. Mm -hmm. And then of course, my makeup brushes, all of them. Need some highlighter? Oh, don't worry about that, sister. I have more than enough to go around. Am I blinding yet? Makeup smells disgusting. And then, time for some smoochy smoochies. Uh, perfect. And finally, the cherry on the top. Sorry, I'm kind of sweating here. Don't worry guys, we're almost done. Just a couple more things. It's for a friend. What is that? I didn't... That's okay, that's kind of strange. This next item, I'm pretty sure it's something that we can all relate to. We all have those moments in class, you know? The teacher's just droning on and on about William Shakespeare and his inability to write anything. And then you just feel your eyes, they're struggling to be kept open, and all you want to do is just lie down and take a nap. Well... <laughs> I mean, I'm prepared for every situation. Now I'm gonna be honest, he has landed me in quite a bit of trouble. Um, I have been written up for sleeping in class, so. <laughs> That's weird because um, I don't even have enough boobs to wear a bra. I don't know how that got in there. And then finally, to just top it all off, we have my Aveeno baby lotion and some sunnies to block out the haters. So thank you guys all so much for watching. This video was just, it was honestly pretty nostalgic to film. It just brought me back to those terrible grade 11 days. And um, I don't know about you, but you know, school, it's, you gotta love it. Cause before you know it, it's gone. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it. This is a mess, I'm gonna have to clean it up. I mean, it was all in my bag beforehand, so I'll probably just be able to put it all back together. But anyways, if you guys liked it, um, so yeah. Oh my god, I think there's something stuck at the bottom. I can't get it out. Can you hear me? Oh my.